we're looking at a model rocket, which is modeled by this equation, h equals negative 5t squared plus 40t. h is height in meters, and t is time in seconds. Okay, so let's write down the equation. And we're looking at a relationship between time and height of a rocket. We want to know when will her rocket reach a height of 60 meters. So are you given the length of time or are you given the height? Height. So we want to know if height is equal to 60, when? So we need to know the length of time. So we're finding t if h is 60. So what do I do to solve this? Plug in 60 and solve for t. How do we solve for t? Use a quadratic formula. The t values are the x-intercepts, right? When time is, we're trying to find the length of time when height is 60. So we need to rearrange the equation. It's important that you're rearranging the equation into standard form because quadratic formula is used when the equation is in standard form. So how do I turn this into standard form? Bring this to the other side. So take away positive 60, what does it become? Take away 60. So I'll have one side is equal to 0. So negative 5t squared plus 40t minus 60 equals to 0. And we're finding t. We're finding the how long it takes for the height to be at 60. So solve for t. Use quadratic formula. What's a? What's b? And what's c? OK, you guys solve this now. OK, so when we plug it in, we're plugging in the A, B, and C. Shh. Can someone tell me what they got for this part, the discriminant? Square root of 400. Discriminant is positive. So how many roots will there be? So after two values of time, the rocket is at 60 meters. Think about it, a parabola is symmetrical. OK, we're going we're gonna to talk about this once you're done solving it. Okay, what are the two values of t? I'm going to skip to the, the final solution. What do you get when you solve this? So t equals 2 and t equals 6. Does that make sense? 2 and 6. A parabola is symmetrical. So if it started at 0, the rocket's launched into the air. Maybe it looks something like this. After two seconds, it reaches a height of 60. And then again, after six seconds, it reaches a height of 60 meters. OK? What's the axis of symmetry? You can do this in your head right now. How many seconds does it take for the rocket to reach the highest point? What's in between two and six? So after four seconds, it reaches the highest point. Can anyone figure out how high this rocket goes right now in your head? Does that look reasonable that it would be at around eight, at 80 meters? OK, so you just you, now you can describe so many different things about this rocket. It was launched off the ground. That's why we started at 0, 0. How long then, who can figure out how long was the rocket in the air before it hit the ground? If this is 0, 2, 4, 6. So how long was it in the air before it hit the ground? 8 seconds. Let's check on Desmos. OK? If t is 4, what is h? That's going to be our vertex. We just did this quickly in our head. We found the axis of symmetry. After 4 seconds, a rocket is going to get to the highest point. So what is the, what is the highest point? What is the vertex? Plug in uh, 4. Height equals what? 80? 80 meters. So let's check my sketch and see if this makes sense. Sorry, I meant to replace that with, thank you. And so I just plugged in the original equation into Desmos and we checked our x-intercepts. Time, rocket was in the air for eight seconds and it reached a height of 80 meters after four seconds.